All right, time for some solo gathering in the black zone. This time on a Sunday at 16.30 server time. Let's see if I can find any of my beloved tier 6 resources at this crazy time. Let's see if I can get through this tier 7 snow map without dying with my settled wild boar. Let's see, let's see. Who knows? Maybe it is more dangerous now. Maybe it isn't. And I'm trying to drink the invincibility which is hidden behind this gate part. Let's try to rush towards the tier 7 map. And let's try to survive. I still need to die. I still haven't Wind died yet with this settled wild boar since I've started using this recently. I am worth 1.6 million. And my mount is not very good at surviving. Let's see. I have not found dangerous ganking groups yet. While I was doing this, gathering in tier 6 maps close to the city, kind of. I also have not found a legendary wisp yet. While doing this, I would like to do so. I would like to gather in a tier 8 map again. Pull oh, with tier 8 resources. That's 5.3. That's solid money. Let's go for that. And while I'm waiting for cooldowns and the silence to wear off, uh, I only want the bear. Nice. Let's hope that this thing is full. Because if it is, then this will be some decent money. And I lost my Fort Sterling cape. Eat pork pie only one out of five. No. No. Mm, switching spells to escape abilities. And I can gather the tier 6 stuff, but I'm not going to bother if there are mobs. Waiting right next to the resource deck. Well, this 5.3 hide is still much more valuable than the tier 6 wood. Not even 100% sure if it is worth it to go for that. But who knows? Who knows? Maybe it is worth it to just skip all the tier 6 wood here. Only takes 6.1 wood. For the tier 6 aura I have at least the plus 70% gathering bonus from my equipment. The roads portal is completely empty. Talking about the charges. Heals dangerous. Yields dangerous. And this tier 7 map that I'm going to enter now only has two map exits, so it's a pretty good map for gankers. I'm curious. Let's see. Let's see where the roads portals are located. This roads portal is definitely pretty nice. Pretty good position. Let's see if there are resources left for me at this time of the day. Because right now it looks pretty damn empty in this map. At least on this side. At least on the edge here. Seeing some fiber there was something in the northwest of me. The portal has four charges. There's a circle. I don't like that there is a circle, but maybe the circle is going to move. 
There was something up there that I wanted to take. What was that? Just some flat tier 6 ore. Looks pretty empty. I may want to move quickly through this map. And since the circle is right there in the middle, I think I want to go the southern route. Hopefully nobody spots me while I walk this way. Because it's really easy to cut the ways off. If people come from the north towards the southwest and towards the southeast. It would be relatively easy to cut my escape routes. Hmm. This map definitely looks pretty damn empty. Let's see if the tier 6 snow map in the west is better. Maybe I will even find some resources here in the south. Also possible. I'm in a pretty bad position right now. Very hard to escape here. 1 out of 5 again. A nice thing, gathering bonus plus 2, but still... It looks like people have been gathering here. Which is rather suboptimal. Somebody transporting the orb to the direction of the territory. The circle is moving. Do I want to look at the middle of this map? I saw some 6.1 ore, but all of this stuff here is only... Uh, there are mobs everywhere. Can I reach this with only getting aggro of that? I can. Do I want to go through the middle? Or do I want to try going a safer way? The circle is moving in weird ways. No, I'm going to go towards the roads portal now. And the situation here is pretty suspicious. Pretty suspicious. I may want to take a charge on the roads portal for safety. Nobody knows how many people I will find there in the middle. <clears throat> I'm using a relatively slow mount so people can actually get ahead of me and take away the charges that I want, that I need to enter the roads for my safety. There's a person, not a dangerous one though. Just leveling his items. Eating some of those black zone mobs. I'm not finding nothing. This is definitely something. Oh, there are gankers, so I should take a charge on this roads portal. I think I saw a death give a ganker chasing the spectral diabol guy. There's a big stone area. Hmm, <laughs> can I get through this map? <laughs> can I get through this map? Should I try going the southern route again? Or do I want to walk closely? Oh, there are resources here. I'm still relatively close to the roads portal. 
But it really feels like there's a ganking group in this map. I wouldn't think that this death giver guy is alone. There was also something in the east that I may want to gather, but I don't know if it's worth it to go back for that. Even normal gangs are dangerous for me now. Not only in this gangs, there's a person in the west running around dismounted. Now I'm extremely close to the roads portal though. For some reason he was using his W even though I was behind the wall, which is very weird. Deadline, this is Gatherer, but is he in a group with these gankers? He does not seem to be. He has a lot of PvP fame. There was some more tier 7 ore up there. I'm finding some resources. But it's definitely relatively dangerous here right now. But that's also always good for the resources not being completely empty. And this is one of the gankers. The person who threw his dagger at me was from the guild deadline. Now I'm relatively far away from the portal actually. And the ganker probably also knows that I'm gathering. I'm pretty sure he noticed that. So it's kind of risky to do this now. He has just seen me, he may try to gank here. It is interesting that he was moving away, mounted up. This may mean that I have a window to pass through right now. Which I would love to use. Would like to reach the tier 6 map. But I would also like to take all the resources on the way. There was a red circle in this map and it was moving in very weird ways. Which may mean that it was a ganking group who was chasing somebody. And then just split up again. I don't remember if the circle moved towards an exit and then vanished there. Or if the circle just vanished in the middle of the map, meaning they have just split up again to cover everything and find as many people as possible. A lot of bodies here. Either a fight or a successful ganking group. There also may be resources behind the static area, but I think that's just too risky. Medium chest, still 50 minutes though. Not too interesting. I think I will not go too deep into this map here. It seems to be a little bit too risky. Mm, or should I take a little look? I mean, the resources are relatively... Oh, there's an epic. Let's already trigger it. Take the fiber and then go in. Please be tier 8. Tier 8, tier 8. It's epic, is it better? Is it better than these useless tier 7 rare ones? It is only tier 7. And the last... The last one was garbage. 
Will I find resources in this map? Will I find ore in this map? There is no resource area. The enchantment is slightly higher here. But I'm really not good at killing mobs with this gear. I think I'm just leaving, taking everything on my way towards the northeastern exit. Even though it may be possible that a tier 7 mist is better than the black zone right now at this time of the day. Also possible. At least the tier 7 map is pretty empty right now. Hmm. <laughs> Finding random tier 7 resources one with one piece per stack is not enough for me, I would say. That's not going to give me a good amount of money. Let's check out the tier 6 snow map. Well, there are some resources here. I probably also want to check out the southwest of this map, even though it would be a hard way for me to reach the exit. Ah. It's a really good map for ganking. Let's see. I'll take a look. I haven't seen too much dangerous stuff in the past 5 minutes or so, 6-7 minutes even. So let's take the risk. I would need to be unlucky I suppose. A rare wisp. Please, a tier 8 map. Tier 8. And it is tier 7, with a skinning area that is most likely completely empty. Mm. Tier 7 fiber taken here, 7.1 ore, nice, nice. I can't find this kind of stuff in the tier 6 map. I cannot find that stuff. What is this going to be? Like 100k or so? This is really nice. This is some really nice loot. It's not going to be 100k though. Even though I'm getting gather bonus plus 2. Not 100k. It's just 66k. 4k per piece. Still pretty nice. A person was dismounted, mounted up. I should definitely be going for the tier 6 or before the basalt. And the fiber and the basalt are probably equally as good. But the tier 6 ore is quicker. And probably even worth more since I have plus 70% gathering bonus. But it's not 100% sure. 3 out of 5. I think I'm going to check out this. The southwest here a little bit. I think so. A lot of enchanted wisps here in the map. Mm, the ore has been taken here though. A little bit of stuff. Basalt. Uncommon basalt. I'll prioritize that. 10 minutes on the medium chest, so still not really... Significant. Not finding nothing, but not as much 
as the last like one or two runs. Maybe because of the time. Maybe because of luck. I mean, I'm not making a terrible amount of money. It's it's totally okay. Ah, totally okay is prob probably an over-exaggeration. This guy is ZVZ. A ZVZ guy. He's not chasing me, it seems like. I took a look again. A lot of ore here. Do I need to be scared of the ZVZ guy? Uh, he keeps looking, I don't like this. I do not like this, no, this is bad. Maybe he's just bored and doesn't have anything useful to do, but it's... He seems to be doing PvE. So maybe I want to come back there and take the ore afterwards? He's just doing PvE, maybe. All the tier 7 stuff is taken here. Okay, so let's quickly go back to that place after he's done with this PvE. And then... Maybe he was trying to bait me even. Possible. But let's see if I can gather these ore stacks there. There were quite a few. And him clearing this place is kind of nice. I do not want to be seen by him. I kind of do not want to be seen by him. He is not sticking around though. I'm not seeing any other names. He's using the ZVZ gear. He gathered the 6.1 ore, I think. I'm pretty sure he did that. He's gathering? What? The good old ZVZ gear gathering. Who doesn't know that? Who doesn't remember that? Oh, come on, now I have aggro, now it takes forever for me to get my spell changed. Boom, boom, damage. Let's kill this drone. There may be something nice in there. And let's kill this annoying mob there. Oh, nothing basically. Switching spells. Mm, there wasn't much at the edge of this map, so I don't think I will bother checking out more. I will directly go into the tier 6 map and hope for some more stuff. Really empty right now. Kind of unlucky with the with the wisps. <laughs> there are people. There's a roads portal. Port of seven. A public hideout. A tier 6 no map. Where is the tier 6 ore hiding? There was some, but it's taken. There's some 6.2 stone. I want that. Can I gather it quickly enough? I can. Barely. It's very close. 
It's extremely close, but I am able to do it. That's pretty funny. Like two or three levels less and I would not be able to take it while getting attacked. Okay, I'm seeing some... I'm seeing some resources. Five out of five. Hopefully, um... Those other resources that I have just seen are also 5 out of 5. For some reason there had two public hideouts in this map. Funnily enough, 4 out of 5, okay, okay. Hopefully the rest will also be this full. It's getting time for me to find some full stacks again. The last map hasn't been too generous to me. At least not right now. The guy who was dismounted didn't have a guild, which does not necessarily mean anything. So it's questionable to even mention it. I suppose. These things I'm finding here are pretty full. So I kind of want to stay in this area, but there is not anything. There isn't anything else in this area. No place for resources. The small chest just spawned. I will probably ignore that. <clears throat> A green wisp. A lot of enchanted wisps. Right now, right here. Still waiting for the tier 8 map though. Mm. There are some tier 6 or there are some more. There's some more. Okay, okay, okay. This looks solid. This looks good. Does this mean that this map is very dangerous now? Because that may be the case. That may be the reason why these things here are so full. 5 out of 5. Pretty nice. I mean, I am approaching the 1 million for the first half hour, so not too bad right now. Not too bad. I'm almost there. Just need to find a couple of things in the next 3 or 4 minutes and I will reach this, this goal of 1 million per 30 minutes. 4 out of 5. Very full, very full, very nice. Quickly filling my journals, etc. Tier 8 mist, where are you hiding? Oh, here the stuff looks rather empty. Tier 6 fiber. Let's see how valuable these things are. Tier 6 ore is slightly more valuable than tier 6 fiber. That's crazy. Six point two stone once again. A solid resource. One point six K per piece. Almost three times as valuable as the flat tier 6 resources. Somebody has been gathering here near the tunnel though. This tunnel leads to High Tree Levy. Mm. There's a person. But this person is not very interested in me. Luckily. 
Okay, where is the rest of the tier 6 ore hiding in this map? There is some. Um, there is a person. The person lost the sight of me, so let's continue gathering. My pork pie is running out soon, but I'm still not even close to like 70% carry weight where I need to be worried about getting overweight. When pork pie running out, I didn't really want to be seen by this guy. He's not using a cape, he's using a tier 3 horse. See, he's using like tier 4 gear, but now he's chasing me. I really don't want to get chased. It's really bad, especially with this mount. Please leave me alone. Stop wasting my time. He dismounted, that's not a good sign. He's still chasing me, and now he dismounted again. There are resources here. There's another dismounted person. Mm, I think I have to push through the... Probably my best chance. I could go into a wisp for like a couple of minutes. The resources here are so much better than in the wisp. But he's still chasing. There are resources here, but these useless people are chasing really hard. I try to move a little bit further, hoping that they will stop. Ganking with T4 items. These guys are not going to deal any damage. Oh, this guy, on the other hand, is dangerous. There was a wisp down there. They do not seem to be chasing me, which is interesting. I like it. Can I maybe turn around? Because I want to gather these tier 6 resources up there. I do want to gather there. But I definitely do not want to get chased. But I also need to give these uh, weak people some time to breathe. And to... Like, I need to make them think that they have lost me and that they should not chase me anymore. And they need to get the feeling that it's not possible to catch me. If I pop up again and again, if I come back to them again and again, it just makes them wanting me more and more. They may even feel provoked. And I mean, if they are like eight, nine people, then it's even possible. If they surround me very well, then there's even a realistic chance for them to catch me. So if I, I cannot stay around too much there. And I basically want to leave their sight as quickly as possible. To make them stop thinking about me. If I play safe, then they will have a very hard time to catch me. But if I want to greed for higher profit, this may cost my life. Or at least waste my time. <coughs> ah, these mobs are so close to the resources. Are you going to move? No, you aren't. Okay, so there were resources here, if I remember correctly. There, there's something. There's something more, but too close to the mobs. Mm. I didn't want to get seen here. He's not really chasing the... Okay, now it's going to be the last time for me trying to gather this place. Mm, but this guy is obviously a ganger.
the way he has seen me there was pretty good for me. It really looked like I was just leaving. That I was just going into some way that gives him no opportunity, him and his group, to actually get me. And he has no idea that I just went back around. But I don't know if these guys are patrolling this area or if this was just random that he went this way. I hope it was just random so I can take all the flat tier 6 resources here. Of which I'm seeing quite a decent amount. I've already had better runs but this is, this is decent. This is okay. There's a circle. Hmm. Not all of these are full. But some are. And some are like 3 out of 5. Like it's not terrible. Not terrible. This is probably not going to be the very best run that I've had, but... It should be okay. Probably. Different time of the day. Different people running around. Different amount of people running around. When talking about gathering, it's such a big deal when you're gathering where. And right here, right now, I'm testing. I'm just looking. Is it even possible to gather right now? It feels like I have seen a couple of ganking groups. Or were there ga even ganking groups in the tier 7 map? Well, there was a death giver, so probably a de ganking group. I really would not think that he was alone. I really would doubt that. 5 out of 5 again. I need more of that. I need more. 5 out of 5. Like, not the worst, not the best. Not the worst. <clears throat> Didn't find anything truly amazing yet. Mm, one out of five again. Close to a hideout, maybe. Maybe somebody just looking out of the hideout. Taking a little bit and getting back in. And then transporting it back to town on another day. And dying while you're doing it. What about some legendary wisp right now? I would like to see that. Around the lake there should be a lot of tier 6 fiber, right? I'll go one more time towards the... edge of the map. Oh wait a second, I have already been here. I should be a little bit further to the north and west. Just like this. And then I'm going to check the edge of the map and then I'm going to check the lake. I would think that gathering these big amounts of tier 6 resources right here is still better than these random tier 7 resources in the mists. 4 out of 5, 5 out of 5. This should be better. 
better profit per time. These tier 7 maps are really not that promising. You really need to find some uh, resource mobs there. Tier 7 resource mobs. Enchanted tier 7 resource mobs. To really make money there. It feels like. And the tier 8 map is just a whole different story. There you can just gather any tier 8 resources. <laughs> resource that you see. Because all of those are worth the time. And you're easily going to make the 500k to 1000k per 20 minutes. Depending on how many resource mobs you find, depending on how many of the resources that you find are enchanted. No! One out of five again. A lot of those though, interestingly. Hmm, I want to go this way. Or do I skip this part here? Hmm, I'll take... Uh, I'm not sure. Let's see. There's nothing here. And this path is blocked off again. Probably I don't want to try. If there's nothing here, I will ignore this place. And with nothing, I mean little. One out of five is bad. People from the side out here probably did some work, sadly. I would guess. One out of five. Rough. Three out of five. Uh, a bit better. But not really enough. I want more. I need more. These two maps here, the tier 7 map and the tier 6 map, really seem to be much emptier at this time of the day. But it may just be unlucky. It may just be unlucky. I don't know. I don't have a big sample size. It's only one run right now here. Showing me a weaker situation than the other times. Need to do it more often at more different times, etc. To actually get some valid averages to actually make some points, to actually have real arguments. This just really looks empty. This is not good. The fiber? The fiber is there. I'm relatively full already now though, so I... I think I will... Finish gathering this map here and not go deeper because there is a, re a point that one could make to go to Stonemouth Bay and try to gather tier 6 ore there right now. Because it's just in the middle of nowhere and it's a garbage map. It's a stone map. Oh, there's 5.3 stone. I'll take that. That should be worth like 950 silver per piece. A lot of enchanted wisps. And as I said, not really finding nothing. I'm finding something, but I would prefer to find more. I f would prefer to find bigger stacks. Even though, like, there's a lot of fiber in this map. A lot of fiber. Let's take a look at this 5.3 stone. It's glowing so beautifully. Only one. No. But it gave me a level. 
1.1k. Mm, these mobs making me run a circle like this for one piece only. Rough life. Rough. Hmm. Let's check out the rest of the lake first. Mm, I want to check out this whole place relatively efficiently. Two out of five, not terrible. Hmm. 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 This map is so mediocre, in a way. Maybe a little bit better than that. Hard to say. Hard to estimate. It's also... You gotta think about, are the alternatives better? Are they? Because I don't know. I don't know. Right now, at this time of the day, at a Sunday, will I get more resources in other maps similarly close to Limhurst? I mean, I'm looking at Mountain Tundra and Mountain Fell. That's what I'm looking at. Running around with my mining gear here. Those are the maps that I'm looking at. Those are the maps that I'm thinking about. And in one of these maps, there's a tier 6 ore area, which is interesting. It's interesting. But either... Hmm. I mean, the ore elementals are really annoying in there. And at this time of the day, there are probably some gankers running around from time to time. I would be gathering very quickly, but there would possibly also be a lot together, so I would maybe spend a lot of time in precarious situations. Now I'm finding relatively decent amounts of resources again. Teleporting here costs 92k right now. 89% carry weight. Mm, do I want to check out the northwestern edge of the map? Did I check out the south? I did not. I did not gather in the south of this map here. Pretty sure. Mm. Let's go to the south first. This is a resource territory. But it's a tier 6 map, so probably nobody cares. I could check. People may not know how this game works. These mobs are annoying. Um, anything? There isn't even anything here right now. For some reason. I may have seen some tier 6 ore there. But that may also have been some illusion. Some wishful thinking. But uh, the ore I'm finding here? Not bad. This is not nothing. 3 out of 5, 4 out of 5. Close to the territory. Does this mean something? I don't know. There's some tier 6 ore. There's some more. Run. Watchtower guard, run. Can you reach me before I'm done? You can't. <laughs> Goodbye, goodbye. Leading me to some more ore, which is much emptier. Interesting. Now, now I'm fine. I'm finding much more here. And I'm getting very close to being completely full. 
95% carry weight already. Okay, there was some more. Hmm, do I want to look at the rest of the territory? I could. People didn't really seem to gather too much in here. I really do never want to get aggro of the crossbowman though. These arrows can hurt. And the damage over time effect lasts so long. Really annoying. And kind of dangerous. If a ganking group finds me while I have this damage over time effect on me. It is going to be much easier to get ahead of me and surround me and stuff like that. Okay, okay, some more, some more tier 6 stuff, then I'm teleporting. Mm -hmm. Tier 6 stuff being taken. Oh, this does not look good here in the south. This doesn't look good. 5 out of 5 though. And there was something in the northwest, I think some more fiber. Wasn't there something more in the north? Yeah, some ore. Very close to 100%. I'm going to teleport after these two here. I may even not be able to gather all of it. Yeah, teleporting time, 95k. And then... <clears throat> I'm going to check out Mountainfell and Mountain Tundra. I will check out the tier 6 map first. Because I would assume that the tier 7 map is either extremely dangerous right now or completely empty. But probably just uh, extremely dangerous, which would be pretty good, because dangerous people don't gather tier 6 resources usually. Uh, this shield does not belong to this loot. Boom. Let's put away all this stuff here. And maybe get some more journals, yeah. And some more pork pie. Only 1.26 million in around 50 51 minutes. Boom, pork pie, pork pie. I want more prospector journals. And I do want more. Nah. nah. That's fine. That's all fine. That's all fine. Okay, so. Mountain Tundra. Mountain Tundra. Mountain Tundra. I could also go to Glacier Break Summit. Nah. In Mountain Tundra, there's an ore area. Let's try that. High Tree Steep. High Tree Steep, yeah. Should be better. And High Tree Steep is a north. Let's take the invisibility, I can just uh, get rid of it anytime I need to. I can just get rid of this. No problem whatsoever. And there's somebody running around naked. Crazy. <laughs> I'm curious to see if this other tier 6 map is more full. People, some people definitely seem to know about the value of the tier 6 resources. This is 6.0 wood. And why is this guy running towards it? I kind of would like to take it. Not gonna lie. I would kind of like to take it. And though, no, I don't want to take the 5.1 hide. Is somebody taking this? Nope. Right now I'm silenced, so I'm actually in danger. From here I want to go to the northeast and I'm already in... 
the desired tier 6 ore map. I'm gathering and gathering, oh. Just gathering some tier 6 wood, don't mind me. Don't mind me. There would never be a tier 8 gatherer worth 1.6 million. Gathering some tier 6 tree, right? So no need to gank this. No need. When I was running around dual ganking and gathering, I also didn't. We also did not gank tier 6 big stacks. Because nobody is gathering this. Nobody does. The tree, the tree replenished, but there was a bear. There was a bear. Standing right in my way. Not worth it to go around. Uh, when these tier 6 trees are right on my way towards my goal, I'll take them. But I'm not going to walk like 10 seconds extra. To reach some tier 6 tree. Not gonna do that. And I'm only not killing these uh, animals because they are most likely not full. If they all were 5 out of 5 it would definitely be worth it to kill them. Even without the skinning armor which makes it much faster. And much more efficient likewise. But the chance is so low. Look at these corpses. Would I kill a 6.1 animal? There's somebody doing PvE. Okay, he mounted up. He lost HP very quickly, so I was even actually considering trying to kill him. I didn't have cooldowns. It may have been possible if he was really weak, really bad, something. Eighty six logs, fifty K. Not much, but not nothing either. Didn't really take me too much time to take it. This looks like a ganking group, and they saw me zoning in. So I'm kind of going to move towards the road portal in a way, I would say. 3 out of 7. I may want to take a free charge. Since I don't know yet how crazy this map is right now. I mean there were probably some gankers. And I'm getting chased pretty much. There's no reason to walk this way and it's a wolf. Oh there are resources though. I like it. Going towards the roads. Going towards the roads. Or should I just leave towards the southeast? Maybe I should. Oh. He didn't get my Fort Sterling, that's good. Mm, I should go into the roads actually. I have quite a lot of people here. They are even chasing me into the roads. Are they still chasing? Yes. Or oh, who is this? No, okay, this is some random useless guy. Okay, because I would like to gather in this map. 
And these people probably annoy all the gatherers. And likewise, there are probably a lot of tier 6 resources. Which I would love to take. This is pretty empty, just like the roads always are. It's not completely empty. Do I want to take a look into the big area? If these guys chase me into the roads, they would have a really easy time to catch me here. They probably are like... I would guess six or seven people. I'm walking the wrong way. I would guess five or uh, six or seven people, considering how quickly they were, where they were, and what gear they were using. They even had a tank with a tank armor. Like, they actually had a tank. And that wasn't the Graveguard armor, I think. Or was it? I don't remember. I don't think so. But I'm not 100% sure. Can I gather this? Probably. They attack me both at the same time. There's a wolf! But most likely not full. This stuff here looks completely empty. But I used some time. Hopefully these gankers are not... there anymore. At least not directly where I want to... get out. Anyhow, I lost my Fort Sterling cape. Which is very bad. This is not a dangerous person. <clears throat> Actually, I forgot his guild name. You never may know who's playing together. You never may know if they have some kind of scouts or something. I mean, they are obviously, obviously not very effective at catching more experienced gatherers and transporters. They seem to be pretty hopeless when trying to catch me. And the only thing I had was some Fort Sterling Cape. The mount is not that extremely tanky. I do want to eat my pork pie very soon. Okay. There were a lot of resources. I would like to gather resources. Still takes a while for me to be able to use my pork pie. I'll wait for it now. Because the next one may also be on 1 out of 5. It wasn't. But it could have been. For now I think I'll stay relatively close to the portal? I don't know. I don't know. Let's just go. I want to gather it all. Somebody's lying around. I really need to pay a lot of attention to my the borders of my screen. What? A fiber titan. A fiber titan. Nice. Interesting. Funny. Oh, there's 5.2 ore. There's some more 5.2 ore. But there may not be too much on it. But such a titan? It's kinda nice.
only need like five people to do it without losing too much health. Health. Mm. Now this deal again. Getting constantly hit. Slowly losing more and more health. Gotta take some time to regenerate, but... I want to take as little time as possible. Didn't really pay attention to how many of these gankers were using invisibility potions. Only saw the useless double-bladed staff who was using um, poison potions. I don't know why people are using the double-bladed staff. He only has a stun. And mobility. I don't know. Put a Grey Seeker there and I have way more trouble. But I guess this weapon is expensive. But wolves are expensive too. They have such a far aggro range. Annoying. But I mean this also should be a good thing about these tier 6 maps. There shouldn't be the best ganking groups. The best ganking groups will be busy in the... Oh, there's some 6.2. In the tier 8 maps. Gathering the crazy tier 8 stuff on the side as well. While gathering the gatherers. There's a person. Oh, 5 out of 5. But I have been seen... I have been seen. Let's go to the other side. 111k. Let's get out of this a little bit. Let's let some time pass. Ah, These things. They are aggro range. They are so aggressive. And have such good eyes. Okay, but after gathering these two runed aura stacks up there, I will go back into the area. There is a fiber stack, 6.1. That's really nice. This guy is really weak. Well, okay, he's only using tier 6 gear. For a moment, I was. Thinking he was using tier 7 gear, but he has no levels and only tier 6 gear. So weak and relatively valuable. Mm, there was some more stuff here, which I want to take. And it is not possible to dodge getting the aggro. Not in a time efficient way. I need to pay so much attention. 6.2 resources again, but these will pretty much never be on 5 out of 5, right? No. So many. I mean, I can use my armor to reset, but then I don't have my armor, <laughs> which I may need. Which I really may need someone in this very soon future. 5 out of 5. Nice. Give me the loot. Give me that money. Mm hmm. 6.1. Nice. Nobody's checking this area right now. D 
decent amounts of resources. I mean, nobody knows that I'm here. The people that have seen me have either not really seen me or were just not the kinds of people that are too dangerous. It feels like I'm making more money right now than in the first run that I had just before this. No mobs here, very nice. Five out of five, oh. Mm. Hopefully all of these are five out of five. I would love to have that happening. Is the ganking group even still in this map? It is possible that they left. I would love to take the 6.1 fiber. But that ganking group would definitely kill me. I think? not. Maybe not all of them have purge? If I'm quick, I have a chance? Oh, it's... it's it's a tough call. It's risky. For what? For like 150k at best? I would say. I don't think I would get more than 150k for that. I really don't think so, sadly. Considering the risk that I would take for that. <coughs> I don't know if people gank with invisibility in tier 6 maps. On a 6.1 stack? Probably not. Who knows? Okay, did I take everything now? Have I found everything? There's some 4.2 or... Oh, there's some stuff up there. I'm really finding some stuff in this map. I like it. Like this ganking group. Probably is the reason for why I'm finding all this stuff. They are probably the reason for these stacks being so full. For me making such a nice amount of money in a decent amount of time. Having a decent profit per time rate. Most likely due to these relatively dangerous gankers these people were not weak but they weren't insane either but it may just be that it was an unlucky position for them they had a lot of time to prepare but probably quite a few people of that group were out of position to actually have some useful impact on the gank on me because the first guy that I saw came from the northwest and I ran straight to the southeast. And then they also were split. They didn't know would I take the road spot or would I try to go to mountain rise. They couldn't know. So they had to split up and there were probably some people in the northwest of me still trying to reach me as quickly as possible but it would just be too late before I reached the roads portal. I only saw like four people of them. Maybe I saw five. But not knowingly. A small chest. Hmm. Hmm. What does that mean? Oh, some fiber. Haven't had some fiber for a while. Oh, come on. These guys get out. These suicidal mobs, they don't know what's good for them. Why do they want to die? Why are they attacking? <coughs> I am stronger. <laughs> Let's see if I can find some more stuff. A dismounted person. Mounting up. Okay, mounting up is nice. He's still there. Pro probably a gatherer? Gold was 
228. Him mounting up is a relatively good sign. Ah! Oh, this mount he's using the holy. This mount. Was no, this was him, okay. For one moment I was thinking he was using a terror bird. Which did uh, produce some concerns in my brain. But it's actually a gatherer. Having competition like that is not too good. Where's the ganking group when you need them? Where did they go? Why did they leave me? I kinda want to look at the small chests. I haven't seen a single person for a while. Let's take a look. I heard that I have solid escape items. I may survive. Mm -hmm. I haven't seen people, so... Let's see if I see people now. There is a person. It's not a dangerous guy. There's another person. He's very fast at looting. Well, like he even started looting later than me. But <laughs> it wasn't possible for me to actually click on the silver bags. What can I say? That's some kind of gatherer or whatever. I don't know. Maybe a skip set. Maybe he wants to do some PvE somewhere. In some static dungeons also. 6.1 fiber stack. Let's move towards it. To be honest, like... I didn't see any people in the last... I don't know. Those people at the chest were very, very... Not scary. Oh, dude. This guy may belong to some kind of group. So let's move out of this map. Yeah, this guy is really chasing me. Ah, oh, come on. Start doing something useful. Okay, let's go to the tier 7 map then. I do not want to get chased. Let's go to the tier 7 map. It's really sad. I would guess that I would have found way more tier, zero, tier 6 resources in this map. Even though I had this one guy as competition. 5.3 and 5.3. Nice. Did this useless player just give me some... Nice amount of free money in a very short amount of time? It kinda seems like it. So I guess I have to say thank you. Not like he wanted to disturb me, you know? He, he just wanted to show me this beautiful stuff here. Giving me this extra money. He was meaning well. I, I just didn't understand at the time, you know? Ah, oh, 1 out of 5 only. But it's pretty. Gotta give him that. He just wanted to show me the beauty of this forest here, which I would not have looked at if it wasn't for him seemingly harassing me, but actually just trying to push me towards my own bliss. Okay, maybe also, also maybe I will get rich in the tier 7 map. Let's see. Let's see. I'm curious. I think I haven't been in this map for like forever. Okay, tier 7 map, 6.1 fiber, some kind of scout or whatever. Coming from the north? 
There is absolutely nothing in the north. These resources here are completely taken. I think I'll move towards the roads portal. Or do I want to move backwards to the tier 6 snow map? Because this looks really empty. Holy. Oh, this looks so bad. Uh, southwest is a possibility. This is a ganker. This is probably somebody belonging to him. My best chance is to just go towards the northwest exit. They kind of stopped chasing me. Time to go back. <laughs> okay. Okay. I don't know why they chased me for so long. But I really... Ooh. These people! These people! I, I just don't... You know, I just don't understand. I'm just so blind. I think... You know, every time I think they just want to hurt me, they want to annoy me. No, no. I'm just so naive. They just want to show me what's good. Oh, no. A pretty bad one. Pretty unlucky. Unfortunate. But that's not their fault. For the RNG in this game. Like they just wanted to show me this blue drone. Cannot be mad at them for that. It was a little bit far. If I was them I would have stopped chasing a little bit earlier. There's a dismounted person. That's crazy. And this dismounted person did not even have a guild. Can you imagine? These kind of circumstances. Popping up on my screen at the same time. Jamaica. Haven't seen Jamaica for a while. And if I remember correctly, there were some tier 6 resources from which I had been chased away. Finally, I was able to get the 6.2. I mean, maybe maybe this guy was even solo. Maybe this guy was even solo and is just trying, trying his best in this harsh world of Albion. One point seven million doesn't feel like one point seven million what I have in my inventory. <laughs> I'm only at fifty seven percent carry weight. There is room for more. And I saw a little bit of some more stuff there. In the north. But I'm going to check out the whole north anyways. There's also no escape possibility here in the northwest. So maybe there are some resources waiting for me. All these stacks are not on 1 out of 5, but on like 2 out of 5, 3 out of 5. Which is definitely not terrible. 5 out of 5. I might, yeah, I may get some get good stuff here. <clears throat> it is possible. And the second part definitely going better, even though I got chased two times. No, even three times. I got chased into the roads as well, when I got into this map. I got chased three times and still made more money. There was something glowing there, right? Yeah, it wears. Would have been a shame if I missed that, these quick 50k. Would have been a shame. 
Like, it seemed to me that this resource was already depleted, but I didn't really see it. And just, I just didn't want to check. But good that I did. Good that I, good that I actually checked it. The 6.1 stack still being there. Either people being scared or actually the place being dangerous. Definitely possible. What can you say? Give me those resources. Did I find some 6.3 this run? I did not. I would not mind finding some 6.3 ore. I think the last time I went gathering, I found some 6.3 ore? 5 out of 5? And got like 300k from that? I believe. Well, that was really good. Really good. 6.3 ore with level 100 in tier 6 ore gathering with tier 8 ore gathering gear fully stacked plus 70% gathering bonus on top of the pork pie on top of premium those are numbers resulting in big numbers Lovely. Finding pretty good amounts here. The edge theory does not hold true in these low tier maps, it seems like. On the high tier maps, almost always. Oh, somebody took this. Somebody took this aspect. Pretty good position here. Not too many people would find this. Somebody obviously found it <laughs> and did it. But not too many would, not too many people would stir up doing it. Bam, 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 bam. Not seeing any people right now, interestingly. But not seeing too many resources either. 4.2 ore, found quite a bit of 4.2 ore. But okay, this big uh, ore gathering area definitely helps with that. Nobody would take the 4.0 and 4.1 or so it will there will be some full 4.x or up and when the enchantment cha enchantments change there will definitely be quite some 4.2 or waiting for people to be taken but I don't think I'm going to check out Um, the big ore area again. I don't think I will do that. I don't think so. Mm -mm -mm. Definitely want to check out this cliff. I checked out this... What do you want to call that? I don't know. This dark thing. And there wasn't much, there was some 4.2 ore, I guess. Not finding too much stuff, and right when I say that, I find quite a bunch of stacks. Hopefully they are not all only on 1 out of 5, though. I would like to... Oh, somebody took the 6.1 fiber. Sadly, but I mean, I really... I really took my time to get there. Everything only on 1 out of 5. I haven't gathered in the southwest yet. When I was chased there, I definitely saw quite a few resources. Those may already be taken though. Anyhow, I didn't check out the east of this map, I haven't checked out the southwest, the south, or the southeast of this map. I haven't checked out the middle area here. Mm, this place here at the territory, it's a resource territory again. 
So actually, let's run around it. It's a resource. A resource territory. I may find something. People may not be looking here. Um, pork pie in three minutes at 75% carry weight already. Mm, hope. I think I'll take one right now. Because I will take one more anyways. I will be running around for three more minutes, definitely. There's no question about that. Everything only on one out of five. That's not nice. Not nice. I would really love it if at some point it happens that like a 6.3, 7.3 stack just spawns right on top of me. And I can just immediately start gathering it. That would be so nice. Um, was, will this watchtower sentry move? Because I would like to gather the ore there. Does this guy move? I do have invisibility, like I can reset. But do I want to do that? Can I gather there? I can probably gather there. Let's just go for that. Ah, it's not, it's not worth it. Whatever. Did this just respawn? I guess it did. Must have, right? No, I cannot do it like this. And now he's shooting his annoying damage over time effect. Which is lasting for forever. Like, what is it, 15 seconds or so? But the damage comes too slowly. I can actually gather tier 6 ore. While being... While having this bleeding or whatever that is. This random damage over time effect. Finding some ore here. The fiber stack may have drawn gankers to this place and those may have scared away all the gatherers and maybe... Oh, almost. Almost. Would have been too nice. Anyhow, I'm going to check out this cliff and I'm going to check out the west, the whole west here. I'm already seeing a lot of stuff. Okay, this map is pretty good, I think. I would say it's pretty good. Like, for how long am I running around now? Mm, 40 minutes, I would guess. 40 minutes, I would say, like the second run. Well, in this session, let's say 40 minutes and I'm at like 1.5 million loot. That's good. That's good. And I just finished the journal. So that's even more. A little bit. People killing each other. At the chest, even though it's not even open yet. Oh, that's actually my guild. That's actually my guild. My guild is cleaning up there. <laughs> Meerschwein, Dark Soul. My guild is actually killing people there. Let's actually tell my guild that there is... Whoops. What? What? Suicide? What? How did that happen? Tier 6. Point zero Fiber Titan. Mountain Tundra. Um, in the... Okay, maybe somebody of them wants to do it. 
maybe if some of them are already killing people here and taking the chest why not perhaps some of them will be interested just as i'm interested in this one out of five fiber there wasn't much more stuff at the rest of the edge i didn't look too much at the at the territory while i was there hmm. there are still some resources probably waiting there at the southern part of the territory i think i will skip it and just hope that i can find the resources that i have already seen like 30 minutes ago when i entered this map or 35 minutes ago i don't know let's see if those resources i had seen previously Are still here okay <laughs> the people in this guild in my guild definitely are interested in doing it i guess mm -mm. <laughs> not seeing resources i haven't checked out this part of the map really yet I definitely haven't checked it yet. Oh, 5.2. I want this and I want damage spells to kill this guy. It's going to be full, so it's going to be nice. I need to get out of this. I don't want to lose my Fort Sterling Cape. There's a person. A person. Mm, is he in a group? Like he has to be in a group. And he actually was. Anyhow, do I want to check the rest of the cliff? Probably. There's some... Um, so far away, it's probably empty. But let's go for it. Oh, four out of five, okay. Getting come <laughs> the whole time getting beaten up by these random <coughs> or elementals. Pretty crazy. Oh god. Mm -mm -mm. Ninety-two percent carry weight. Okay, I have kind of looked at some of these places there. So I'll go towards the south now. A person. There are people. Filter Cropper Journal. I don't think I got a fame book though. I mean, last run I got two, so. Can't have everything, every day, every time. They are pretty rare, in a way. I mean, I guess I don't know how much people are actually gathering every day. But to me, it seems to be kind of rare. I don't get them too often. Like every fifth, sixth run, I think. If I got chased right now by people, I may be able to just run to the ore area. Because maybe uh, the guys from my guild are there right now. It is possible. They definitely seem to be pretty motivated to come. 95% mm, carry weight. Can I fill my carry weight? The stuff here looks relatively empty. Still have the lake to check out. 
Oh, a purple drone. I can take those. Those are stackable. I got like a million of those in my bank. Can put one more on these. Onto these stacks in my bank. Mm. Will I find more resources here? Looks relatively empty. Two out of five. Two out of five. Two times. Hmm. 97. There's something. There's something. And there's an enemy in the southeast losing health. Using energy. Somebody was killed by... A person from my guild again. Do, 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 do. And another person was killed by a person from my guild again. They are so bloodthirsty. Three out of five. 99% was there more? No, right? This guy's still doing this. Oh he managed to did it to do it. Oh I'll I'll take this book I guess. This guild Somebody from some people from this guild actually chased me. In the beginning, I think. I'm pretty sure that they were from this guild, like when I entered this map. Oh. I'm overweight. What do I throw away? One piece of tier 6 ore is enough. Okay. 104k. To teleport. Oh. <clears throat> Not a completely amazing run this time around but okay I guess I guess I guess let's see how much money it will be not too much but not too little either um, not too little either 2.97 million and that in one hour and 42 minutes of which I probably talked like in the beginning and the end for like two minutes or so so maybe 140 for 3 million solid loot I guess could have been better could have been much worse as well I believe I'm not sure like the tier 6 gathering close to town really doesn't look bad what can I say like solid amount of money and yet, I have not encountered a really dangerous group of gankers. I haven't. If Like the, uh, the group there um, I've met in the beginning of entering the tier 6 snow map in the north of the Lumos Black Zone portal had been using like tier 9 Grail Seeker instead of some double-bladed staff people and maybe had like some tier 9 whispering bow just one-shotting me from a mile away. I don't know if I would have gotten out there. If they wouldn't be using wolves but had huskies and panthers. I may have died there. Hmm. Let's see.